I'm Gordon Buchanan, a wildlife cameraman. I filmed animals for 25 years, including some of the world's most dangerous. But what's it like to live alongside fierce predators? And raise your children with deadly neighbors. So this bird is called wolves before. To find out, I'm going to live with three tribal families. They'll show me these creatures from a new perspective. Getting me closer to these animals than I've ever been before. In the Solemn Islands, I saw if it's possible to live with sharks. It is spooky as hell, baby. In Mongolia, I'll try to bond with the Golden Eagle. She's not a rifle or a shotgun, but she's every bit as lethal. And in Ethiopia, I learned to walk with Africa's hyenas. Spending time with these people will be a life-changing experience. Transforming my understanding of the animals we fear most. is Western Mongolia. I'm in the heart of the Altai Mountains, one of the most remote places on the planet. The Kazakh people of this area have developed a formidable hunting partnership with golden eagles. It's a relationship that stretches back thousands of years, two of the world's top hunters, human beings and eagles, working side by side. The sheer power of the golden eagle is awe-inspiring. They've been a symbol of strength for kings, gods, and empires. Their predatory instincts were harnessed by Kazakh nomads who used them to hunt for fur to survive the freezing winters. A Kazakh family have agreed to teach me how they work with these incredible birds. It's exciting for me in Scotland to see a golden eagle soaring in the sky a mile away. So to be here, to have the opportunity to really get to know these birds is uh, it's wonderful. Mongolia is sparsely populated, so there's plenty of space for golden eagles to hunt. Elsewhere, these birds are often persecuted, but here, they're respected. The Kazakhs of this region know more about golden eagles than anybody else. Speaking of which, I think this is who I've come to meet. Yeah, I can see goats, I see camels, I can see horses, I can see people. And on the arms of these people are eagles. What a phenomenal sight. Something quite formidable about, about three men on horseback holding eagles. This feels like one of the most impressive things I've ever seen. This is epic. Hello. I'm Gordon. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> hello, horses. Hello, eagles. Hello, people. I'm Gordon. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Silo will be my mentor. He's 65 and one of the top eagle hunters in the area. His eagle looks formidable. So this bird has caught wolves before. Training starts right here. So when you get hit by the wing, you can feel the power. Right, hand in glove. I'm surprised by how unnerving it is to be this close to an eagle. I have no idea how to handle it. There we go. Her wingspan is over two meters, and her sharp talons could do me some serious damage. Silo, is it okay being this close? It is exquisite looking. Now that the hood's come off, you can see her eyes. To have an eagle in my hand like this is, is, is intimidating. 
This isn't, isn't like, like um, stroking a dog, dog or patting a horse. horse. This, this is, is just one, one of the world's, world's most powerful, powerful living, living things. things. Silo needs, needs to continue, continue herding, herding the animals, animals up to camp. camp. He tells me to follow. One thing, One thing I wasn't expecting was to be to feel intimidated by the, the eagles, and, and I was to feel the strength of its talons, to see how sharp its claws were, and its beak. I think one of the most intimidating experiences of of my life. But I don't want to do anything wrong. I don't want to injure the bird, and I certainly don't want to be injured by the bird. Anything that I could do to describe this scene in front of me doesn't do it justice. There's an entire family migrating. Look at the camels. They've got their accommodation there. The hunters with their eagles. The costumes that they're wearing. It's beyond exciting. I'll be spending a couple of weeks with Silo and his family at this spring camp. Learning about golden eagles from the experts as I help them train a young eagle to hunt. I'm Gordon. Gordon. Now we're all here. Our first job is to finish building the camp. Okay, this is a a gear, this is a accommodation. So three camels, one house. Trying to make a house out of matchsticks that each individual part doesn't give you much support. But once it all goes together, once it's all kind of meshed and lashed and tied, that's the real, real strength in it. This is good training for holding, holding an eagle. Less exciting than holding an eagle. If you're having to move five, six times a a year, it's not actually that much work. A couple of hours, and then that's that's it. You could be in it for um, a month or two. Really lovely. Thinking of the variety of tents I have and have to put up, they're all made of kind of artificial, man-made fibres. Sort of every part of this is natural. It's sort of cotton. Bell, it's wood, it's leather. Finish? Finish. Well done. Go right Thank you. Here. With the gear finished, Silo wants me to start my eagle training. These eagles aren't pets. They're working animals, so he doesn't give them names. In time, they'll be released back to the wild to breed. Silas Eagle is eight, in the prime of her life, so he needs to release her soon. The bird I'm going to be training could become Silas' new hunting companion. Like blinkers on a horse, the hoods minimize distractions and keep the eagles calm when they're not being flown. My first task is to select an eagle to work with. An eagle's training starts when it's less than a year old. Kazakhs always hunt with females, as they're larger and fiercer than males. I'll go for the, the noisy one. It's drawing more attention to itself. Hello. I, try and pick it up. I hope I've picked the right hunting partner. I know absolutely nothing about training eagles. I can't tell these two birds apart, which is the experience. The only difference that there is is the obvious one. That is 
dead. Flying an eagle is a difficult skill which takes years to master. Top eagle hunters regularly compete with each other to keep their skills sharp. Silao hopes that I can train a young bird to hunt and that we can take on some of the area's best hunters in a tournament next week. Now that I've selected an eagle, Silo wants me to learn how to launch it. In a real hunt, the launch is everything. The eagle wears leather straps called jesses. They are her physical connection to the hunter. The precise timing of removing the hood and breaking that connection is vital for the bird to take off. Like cheetahs, eagles are fast, but don't have much endurance. As my training progresses, I'll need to learn the right moment to release the bird, taking account of the wind. The bird flies straight to Silo. He's worked with eagles for almost 50 years and knows how to win their trust. Oh, this is one of the most exciting days of my life. Now it's my turn. Will she trust me? But despite my calls and holding the glove correctly, the young eagle shows no interest in flying to me. Not what I expected. I was expecting just to literally see the meat and I wouldn't even have to say anything. It would fly towards me. What we do? It's a bad start. An eagle hunter needs to be able to call his eagle so that she doesn't fly off. I'm worried that this eagle isn't warming to me. Before we turn in, I want to ask Silo about the bond that's formed between him and his bird. With my eagle, am I the, am I the boss, am I the master, and the eagle's the servant? But sometimes these relationships are not always smooth. Sometimes these relationships can be, uh, can go wrong. How can I make that bond stronger? So she can sleep in, in here tonight? In, in my bed? <laughs> be lying here. <laughs> but you said to treat her like my wife. I wouldn't leave my wife on the floor. <laughs> Thank you very much. As I bed down for the night, I wonder if I'll ever achieve the bond and trust needed for a successful hunting partnership. Don't know if I can talk any louder. She's, she's gone to sleep, sleep now, which is wonderful, because if she's asleep, it means that I can go to sleep. And if she starts that infernal squawking in the middle of the night, she's gone straight outside. Sleeping 
obviously pretty weird, lying in a bed, a few meters away from a, a sleeping eagle hunter. He's quite tired. He's crashed out with all his clothes on. Better not wake my eagle. Tomorrow, my eagle training will continue. One thing that was good was the eagle was very, very quiet through the night. Just the moment. Yeah. Breakfast is tea with hard cheese and bread. Little grows in this part of Mongolia. The soil is poor and the temperature can drop to minus 30. The family's sheep and goats are their main source of food and of barter. In other parts of the world, golden eagles are killed for taking livestock. But the Kazakhs protect and revere all birds. Even in the day, the lambs are kept in the corral for their protection. As well as golden eagles, wolves, foxes and snow leopards hunt in this area and would easily take them. A wild eagle will be able to snatch a little sheep like this very easily. You can realise because all the bigger animals, the camels and the horses and the cattle all stay out, but all the, the sheep are corralled up at night time. You are the most vulnerable member of this uh, happy gang of assorted animals. With the sheep taken care of, the young eagle's training can continue. How high are we going to go up? My hope is that after our night together, our bond is stronger, so she'll perform better with me. Nope. Mm -hmm. There you go, get up. Whoa. Some kind of sense of freedom that is passed from the bird to you when you let it go like that. And it is really lovely to be the one allowing her to do that. I try again to call her down. I'm ready. But she still won't fly to me. This is not a good sign. Well done. But her reluctance shows we're not well bonded. I was full of fear there. Fear initially that I thought she wasn't going to come. And then <laughs> fear that she was going to knock me over. I worry that this eagle and I won't hunt well together. So, Silao and Boti want to see if the quieter bird and I are a better fit. They'll then judge which eagle I'll continue to train. Away. After seeing me fly this bird, Silo thinks we'll make a great team. I'm ready. Onwards, onwards and upwards. I hope this eagle works out. I'm going to brace myself. We're due to go hunting together in just a few days. Oh! Boom! Hello? 
Large distances must be covered to find any prey here. So eagle hunting is done on horseback. I have to prove to Silo that I can not only handle an eagle, but do it while riding a horse. If you let me off, you can see if, if you think I'm, I'm ready to ride the horse. Yeah. Kazakhs are some of the best riders in the world. I'm desperate to impress. I used to ride a lot as a boy. I hope I'm not too rusty. Happy? He's good. I think he's a bit lazy. Yeah. That's more like it. I finished my riding trial just in time. A spring snowstorm is moving in. You go back for me. Don't pull it. Carry on. You don't go back. Change. Hong Kong will run. Mark it. Good idea. Inside, the gear is surprisingly cosy. A welcome contrast to the bleak landscape outside. Kazakhs depend on their animals. Goats for meat, horses for riding, camels for milk and heavy loads, and eagles to hunt. The animals also rely on them for protection and food. Hand feeding my new eagle strengthens our relationship in the run-up to the hunt. Don't worry. Not long. So she knows what this means. She knows that there's food around it. Don't you? I'm just washing this meat. I need to spend as much time as possible with her to build up trust. Let's go. Up we come. Right, lunch is nearly there. Not quite, Not quite what, what I wanted, wanted to do. do. Okay, okay, there we go. go. That's better. That's better. Eagles have got this reputation of, of being, being, being vicious, vicious and I think kind of being rapacious. Yes, kind of, and you can see right here, she's just bolting down this. This, this meat. meat. It's all gone. gone. All that has gone within about 60 seconds. seconds. I think a lot of what the relationship is, is about is that. Eagles, Eagles can, can do, do the, the thing, thing we can. can. They can, can fly. fly. Every human being would, would love, love to be able to, to fly. We'd, We'd love, love to have the eyesight of an eagle. We'd, We'd love, love to have the strength and the power. power. I, suppose I suppose the relationship that you're developing with an eagle that you're training is that it's part of you. It's, it's actually about, about merging with, with the bird. bird. So, so that it is, it's like an extension of you. Your arm. Thank you. Thank you. This, this is, is very, very beautiful. beautiful. Really, really nice. nice. All, the All the animal skins, skins have you hunted, hunted them, them with eagles? eagles? Just, Just remember to watch. Ah, the nurses are scared because they're going to shoot something. I have put the nurses up at the moment because I'm talking to them. What are they doing? You still look young. Just look at my eyes. I don't see anything. I don't see anything. I don't see anything. With the eagles. Have either, either of you ever been, been injured or hurt by them? It went in one side, out the other side, and it wasn't very painful. I think you're going to get very tired very quickly because I'm going to keep asking lots of questions. It's been a good start, but I'll need to strengthen our connection before I can fly her from horseback.
As the days pass, I spend as much time as I can with my young ego. As I get to know her, she gets to know me. I'm really pleased with how I'm bonding with this ego, but the one thing that kind of trips me up is that I'm constantly wondering what the ego is thinking, what's going through its, its mind. Maybe it's just simply about food. All it really cares about is, is not being hungry. All I care about is not messing up. This feels like a huge moment. Sila is going to teach me how to ride with the ego. And then we'll try a launch. Come on. This is a massive test really for me. I just don't want to mess it up. And this is this is where I want to be. I want to progress. I want to be one step closer towards going on a hunt. And this is maybe the biggest part of it. Actually riding and handling the ego all at the same time. It feels good to be riding out together, but I'm finding it hard to carry the eagle and control the horse with just one hand. I'm realizing that an eagle hunter has to kind of work. Three parts have to come together. The man, the horse, and the eagle, and that is no mean feat. I'm, I'm really struggling with it. All the eagle has to do is just one little tug and she'll be away if I'm not ready. So I'm having to grip her really tight. Eagles attack from above, so the Kazakhs try to fly them from the highest possible launch site. This is how young eagles are trained, by dragging a piece of fur and calling the eagle down towards it. It's the skill we'll be tested on in the tournament next week. I need to turn the removal of the hood and the release of the jesses even more carefully. Now we have a moving target. Out in the open, I'll also have to think about wind direction and the terrain. Yes. Golden Eagles can reach over 150 miles per hour in a dive. They're the second fastest animal on Earth. Peregrines are faster, but eagles are much more powerful. Great down onto it. I've judged the release well. My eagle flies right to the lure. But there's no time to celebrate. Sorry. I Silo tells me to get the eagle off the pelt as quickly as possible. Chop, chop, chop. In a real hunt, the eagle could damage the precious animal fur. Ten out of ten. But in the heat of the moment, I make a painful mistake. While trying to retrieve the lure, she sinks a talon deep into my hand. I'm trying to get the, the meat off of her, and she sunk her hand and her talon right into my hand. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. That was my fault. Ow! Hi. I could feel it actually. It went all the way in through between, between my fingers and kind of stopped at my. My, my palm, palm didn't, didn't quite, quite punch her through. through. Oh, that's, that's not, not your fault. fault. That's, that's not, not your fault. fault. Stay away from my eyes. It's a sobering reminder of how eagles hunt. Talons over two inches long are driven in to prey. They can easily kill an animal ten times their weight. Doğru. Hatta sadece kanka atasına
Dinner is boiled horse ribs and mutton. Animals that were killed at the fattest six months ago before winter and the meat dried. Tomorrow we leave on a two day hunting trip. My eagle will try to catch her own food. It's the type of mistake you don't make too often. It's quite a, a painful lesson. It's an important day. We're getting ready to take my eagle on her very first hunting expedition. To be honest, I'm nervous about the hunt, especially after yesterday's incident. But the family's confidence in me and my eagle is heartening. Dressing up like an eagle hunter doesn't make an eagle hunter. The real test is when we get out there to see whether we can actually hunt me and this. Magnificent bird. It's half a day's ride to the hunting grounds. A camel helps carry camping gear and provisions. We're going up into the mountains to hunt for hares. In this vast landscape, it's easy to see why an eagle is the perfect hunting partner. On my ride up, I've time to think about what's coming. Back home, I don't need to hunt for food or clothing. I'm beginning to feel a bit uncomfortable taking part. Everything that I've learned so far kind of felt a little bit of a, of a game, and now we're actually out actively hunting another animal. And I'm not sure I like that. She's not a, a rifle or a shotgun, but she's every bit as, as lethal. I kind of feel that I'm the one that's going to be pulling the trigger. Silo says this is a good place to begin. His plan is to split into two teams. The three of us with birds head to the ridge. The younger men go to the valley floor to flush out prey. Then we wait. After 20 minutes, a shout goes up. The first hare breaks cover. I don't think I'm going to see the rabbit at that distance, but the eagle presumably will. Oh, yeah, I can see it. I can see it. Huh? Can you see it? Papa. Then it all goes wrong. In the flurry of my first hunt, I don't hold on tightly enough to my eagle, and she breaks free. Releasing an eagle with her hood on is incredibly dangerous. A blind bird can easily get injured. God, I got a real fright there. I was just worried that she'd start soaring and start trying to get higher and higher and she wouldn't be able to see anything and then she'd crash to the ground. You're all right. Sorry. It's a basic error on my part. I feel embarrassed I messed up so badly. 
We don't spot any more prey, so Silo thinks it's best to try again tomorrow. We're miles from our base. It'll be dark soon, so we set up camp for the night. There's a huge amount to be lost if this tradition was to go away. It's not a hobby. It's, um, it was a necessity. If you wanted to get furs to keep you warm in winter, you had to hunt those animals. And the best way of doing it was to harness the expertise of a, an eagle and the strength of a, a horse and the carrying capabilities of a, of a camel. It's, um, yeah, it's a thing of, of great beauty, the entire hunting party. It's not necessarily, it's not just about me and the eagle. It's, a, sort of, it's a bigger than that, you know, all the way up to the environment itself and what it might provide for us. Oh, this is, I'll be very warm. I'm over halfway through my stay here, and I'm beginning to understand why the hunters love these purple birds so much. At first, I was intimidated by my eagle, but now I feel we quite like each other's company. This morning, we're going to try a different hunting strategy. Bolte thinks that there might be hares across the other side of the valley. And he's right. After yesterday's mistake, I need to focus on removing the hood, then releasing the jesses, taking into account wind direction and prey position. It's my young eagle's first attempt at hunting. It's coming straight towards us. Use your eyes, use your eyes. As yet, we don't know if she has the skills they look for in a great hunter. To the right, to the right. Silo's bird gives up early, but my young one is showing amazing stamina. Come on, my bird's overtaking it, come on. She's pursuing the hare right to the end. She's still chasing it. Ah! She's given up. Come on! Ah! Very close. Very, very close. Trouble was, the, the land was against her. The hare started going uphill, which was a clever move on the part of the hare. In this rough terrain, the hares aren't as easy prey as they look. They use slopes and rocks to their advantage. We try again. This time, my eagle attacks from a greater height. By zigzagging and running uphill, the hare lives to fight another day. My young bird is showing promise, but today, the hares are outwitting the eagles. They are one of the world's ultimate predators, but they know, they know when to quit. Jamal Jamal, 
I was copying Bote. He took it off us. So seeing this eagle in action, does it excite you about her potential? Soon you'll have a new eagle, so all we need is, is new knees and you'll be like a young man again. The hunting trip has helped my eagle and I to gel as a team. Now we're heading home. Silo's organized an eagle flying tournament for tomorrow. Time for some last minute training. I brought some camera technology that might help. Silo? Yeah. What I'd like to do is fit a small camera. It'll just give us the eagle's point of view. But the thing I'm most excited about is actually being able to show both in silo the images that we get from the camera. I think we're good. I think we're good. Free flight check. Jack! Get up. Whoa, straight away. Camera's looking a bit wibbly wobbly. Oh, guys, it was wind against her. Come on. No, you need a bit more wind to bring you up. Up you come. Whoa, up she goes. It's great to see that despite the wind, she stays on target. I wonder what Silo and Bote will think of the footage. Right. Right, let's have a look at this. Okay. <laughs> Booty, you want to come, come around and have a look? look. This, this is, is the first, first one. one. Oh. Oh. The eagle can't, can't see. see. <laughs> <laughs> and she's off straight away. Oh, wood. Oh, wow. See how she banks right? She's all over to the ground. She looks like she's going to hit those boulders. Whoa! <laughs> Anything out in the open, you, you realise any animal is not going to stand stand a chance trying to get away from an eagle because there's just there's no there's no cover. So it's like a fight, fighter jet the way she just banks round. Oh! oh. That was great. Watch this. <laughs> That's the last thing I hear sees before it dies. <laughs> well done. Silao and Bote seem pleased with my eagle's progress. I just hope that I've done enough not to embarrass myself in the tournament. I'm feeling very daunted by the prospect of competing against these mighty hunters. That is an incredible scene. Wow. You know what, this actually kind of reminds me when I arrived right in the beginning. Seeing a man on horseback with an eagle is a sight that is as impressive the hundredth time as it was the first time. It is amazing. In honor of the occasion, Silo has killed one of his goats to share for lunch. It's the first fresh meat for six months. These men are all good friends and fierce rivals. They've competed many times together. 
the new boy here, I brought along something to try and get on the good side. You're gonna love this, Adam. This is a dish from my country, from Scotland. It's Scotland's national dish. It's called haggis. <laughs> Silar is a highly respected eagle hunter in this community. He's beaten many of these men in competitions. <laughs> After lunch, the hunters are keen for me to see their skills. Their mastery of horses and eagles is incredible. Their showmanship is intimidating. The rivalry builds as they compete in traditional Kazakh sports. <laughs> Then, it's time for the Eagles. This competition will be judged on the Eagles' speed and accuracy, from launch to lure. Pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, that Eagle was looking great. And it was maybe within five metres of the, the drag, and the gust caught it, and it was like, like that. It was 200 metres up in the air. As more eagles take their turn, it seems these windy conditions are tough, even for the best hunters. Any eagle that touches the crowd, the hair that's after is going to be long gone, so it has to land directly on the drag. There are eight people competing today, and my turn is fast approaching. I get the impression that everybody's looking at me just thinking I'm sort of some tourist playing at this, but um, this is deadly serious for me. I want to kind of show all these men that I know what I'm doing. It's the big moment. We'll score well if she flies fast and straight to the lure. I've got to time removing the hood and releasing the jesses just right to allow for wind gusts and the movement of the lure. At last, a perfect launch. Everything has finally come together, and I've proved to Silo that my ego and I can do this. <laughs> now the competition is over, Salau tells me that tomorrow he will release his eight-year-old ego back to the wild. After working with her for so long, it'll be like losing a member of his family. As my final day arrives, we're all feeling anxious about what lies ahead. I've only been here for a short time, but I feel an ease and closeness between us all. Cool. Talking time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is an incredibly difficult day for Silo. It 
It's a unique relationship that the hunters have with these animals. Only they catch, hunt with, and then release the predator back to the wild. He's chosen a special place to let her go. Near to good hunting grounds and the nest where he found her as a chick. This eagle has been a big part of Silar's life. She's not only been his hunting partner, but also his companion for nearly a decade. Removing these leather dresses after so long is to physically as well as emotionally give her her freedom. It must be difficult. difficult. <laughs> Despite the fact this eagle has been brought up with people, she's been hunting regularly, so still has her killer instinct and skills. Golden eagles can live for over 20 years. With so much of her life ahead of her, I hope she'll go on to raise many chicks. I can't imagine what that must be like to let go of her. An animal that you spent so much time with. I'm slightly bewildered by it that he just he walks away from it. I struggle to understand how you can just sort of sever that bond. I suppose maybe that's sort of the ultimate symbol of Silas' love for his ego is that he will do what is best for it, for it. and setting it free is undoubtedly the best thing. Sad. I think there's something really beautiful about the relationship between the hunter and the eagle, but maybe the, the ultimate beauty is the fact that on the hillside behind me there is an incredible bird that is truly free. I'm not sure I've ever learned so much in such a short space of time. The privilege of being able to be so close to one of the world's most incredible hunters, one of the world's top predators, that's, that's something that will stay with me forever. Now that Silo has said goodbye to his eagle, it's time for me to say farewell to mine. Hey you, you beauty. It doesn't seem long ago that I was completely out of my depth, terrified of even being close to these birds. The best hunting partner ever. But now I feel a close connection, not only to her, but to this place. Okay. And these people. Oh, Thank, Thank you. you. I'll, I'll never, never forget, forget everything, everything that I've, I've learned here. It's been amazing. It's been really amazing. It is very sad to leave, 
in the time that I've been here, they've taught me about their way of life, their eagles. It's something that I will never, ever forget. It is truly one of the most amazing experiences I've ever had. These people have formed an emotional partnership with a top predator. They've shown me that it is possible to bond with golden eagles. A creature persecuted elsewhere that here is embraced as part of a very special family. It's good. Huh? I think it's a bit lazy. Yeah. That's more like it. <laughs> I finished my riding trial just in time. A spring snowstorm is moving in. Good idea. Inside, the gear is surprisingly cosy, a welcome contrast to the bleak landscape outside. Kazakhs depend on their animals, goats for meat, horses for riding, camels for milk. The eagle wears leather straps called jesses. They are her physical connection to the hunter. The precise timing of removing the hood and breaking that connection is vital for the bird to take off. Like cheetahs, eagles are fast, but don't have much endurance. As my training progresses, I'll need to learn the right moment to release the bird, taking account of the wind. The bird flies straight to Silo. He's worked with eagles for almost 50 years and knows how to win their trust. Oh, this is one of the most exciting days of my life. Now it's my turn. Will she trust me? But despite removing the hood, then releasing the jesses, taking into account wind direction and prey position. It's my young eagle's first attempt at hunting. It's coming straight towards it. Use your eyes, use your eyes. As yet, we don't know if she has the skills they look for in a great hunter. To the right, to the right. Silo's bird gives up early, but my young one is showing amazing stamina. Come on, my bird's overtaking it. Come on. She's pursuing the hare right to the end. She's still chasing it. Ah! She's given up. Come on! Ah! Very close. Very, very close. Trouble was, the, the land was against her. The hare started going uphill, which was a. Move on the part of the hare. In this rough terrain, the hares aren't as easy prey as they look. They use slopes and rocks to their advantage. In front of squawking in the middle of the night, she's gone straight outside. away from a, a sleeping eagle hunter. He's quite tired. He's crashed out with all his clothes on. Better not wake my eagle. Tomorrow, my eagle training will continue.
hold tightly enough to my ego, and she breaks free. Releasing an eagle with her hood on is incredibly dangerous. A blind bird can easily get injured. God, I got real fright there. I was just worried that she'd start soaring and circling and get higher and higher. She wouldn't be able to see anything and then she'd crash to the ground. You're all right. Sorry. It's a basic error on my part. I feel embarrassed I messed up so badly. We don't spot any more prey, so Silo thinks it's best to try again tomorrow. We are miles from our base. It'll be dark soon, so we set up camp for the night. Bye to his ego. It's time for me to say farewell to mine. Hey you, you beauty. It doesn't seem long ago that I was completely out of my depth. Terrified of even being close to these birds. The best hunting partner ever. But now I feel a close connection, not only to her, but to this place. Okay. And these people. Oh, Thank you. I'll never forget everything that I've, I've learned here. It's been amazing. It's been really amazing. It is very sad to leave. In the time that I've been here, they've taught me about their way of life, their eagles. It's something that I will never, ever forget. It is truly one of the most amazing experiences I've ever had. As the days pass, I spend as much time as I can with my young eagle. As I get to know her, she gets to know me. I'm really pleased with how I'm bonding with this eagle, but the one thing that kind of trips me up is that I'm constantly wondering what the eagle is thinking, what's going through its, its mind. Maybe it's just simply about food. All it really cares about is, is not being hungry. <laughs> All I care about is not messing up. This feels like a huge moment. Sila is going to teach me how to ride with the eagle. And then we'll try a launch. Come on. This is a massive test really for me. I just don't want to mess it up. And this is this is where I want to be. I want to progress. I want to be one step closer towards going on a hunt. And this is maybe the biggest part of it is actually riding and handling the eagle to camp. He tells me to follow. One thing I wasn't expecting was to be to feel intimidated by the, the eagles, and, and I was, to feel the strength of its talons, to see how sharp its claws were, its beak. It, I think one of the most intimidating experiences of, of my life. But I don't want to sort of do anything wrong. I don't want to injure the bird, and I certainly don't want to be injured by the bird. Anything that I could do to describe this scene in front of me doesn't do it justice. There's an entire family migrating. Look at the camels. They've got their accommodation there. The hunters with their eagles. The costumes that they're wearing. It's beyond exciting. I'll be spending a couple of weeks with Silo and his family at this spring camp learning about golden eagles from the experts as I help them train a young eagle to hunt. I'm Gordon. This eagle is sleeping like a baby. But it's obviously pretty weird lying in a bed a few meters away from a, a sleeping eagle hunter. He's quite tired. He's crashed out with all his clothes on. 
Better not wake my ego. Tomorrow, my ego training will continue. One thing that was good is the eagle was very, very quiet through the night. Just the man woman. Yeah. Little grows in this part of Mongolia. The soil is poor and the temperature can drop to minus 30. The family's sheep and goats are their main source of food and of barter. In other parts of the world, Golden eagles are killed for taking livestock, but the Kazakhs protect and revere all birds. Even in the day, the lambs are kept in the corral for their protection. As well as golden eagles, wolves, foxes and snow leopards hunt in this area and would easily take them. A wild eagle will be able to snapped a little sheep, sheep like this, very easily. You're going to realise, because all the bigger animals, the camels and the horses and the cattle all stay out, but all the, the sheep are corralled up at night time. You are the most vulnerable member of the trust needed for successful hunting partnership. Don't have to talk any louder. I she's going to sleep now, which is wonderful, because if she's asleep, it means that I can go to sleep. And if she starts that infernal squawking in the middle of the night, she's going straight outside. Night night. This eagle is sleeping like a baby. It's obviously pretty weird, lying in a bed, a few meters away from a, a sleeping eagle hunter. He's quite tired. He's crashed out with all his clothes on. Better not wake my eagle. Being able to show both in silo the images that we get from the camera. I think we're good. I think we're good. Pre-flight check. Jack! Oh. Get out. Whoa, straight away. Camera's looking a bit wibbly wobbly. Oh, guys, it was wind against her. Come on. No, you need a bit more wind to bring you up. Up you come. Whoa, up she goes. It's great to see that despite the wind, she stays on target. I wonder what Silo and Bote will think of the footage. Right. Right, let's have a look at this. Okay. Bote, you want to come around and have a look? This is the first one. The eagle can't see. <laughs> and she's off straight away. Oh, oh, wow, wow. see what she banks around. She's, she's all over to the ground. She looks like she's going to hit those boulders. Whoa. <laughs> Anything out in the open, you, you realise any animal is not going to stand, stand a chance trying to get away from an eagle because there's, there's, no, there's no cover. So it's like a fight, fighter jet where she just banks around. Uh, oh, oh. That was great. Watch this. She pulls the camera off. <laughs> That's the last thing a hair sees before it dies. <laughs> well done. Silao and Bote seem pleased with my eagle's progress. I just hope that I've done enough not to embarrass myself in the tournament.
I'm feeling very daunted by the prospect of competing against these mighty hunters. That is an incredible scene. Wow. You know what, this actually kind of reminds me when I arrived right at the beginning. Seeing a man on horseback with an eagle is a sight that is as impressive the hundredth time as it was the first time. It is amazing. In honor of the occasion, Silao has killed one of his goats to share for lunch. It's the first fresh meat for six months. These men are all good friends and fierce rivals. They've competed many times together. As the new boy here, I brought along something to try and get on the good side. You're gonna love this. This is a dish from my country, from Scotland. It's Scotland's national dish. It's called haggis. <laughs> Silao is a highly respected eagle hunter in this community. He's beaten many of these men in competitions. <laughs> After lunch, the hunters are keen for me to see their skills. Their mastery of horses and eagles is incredible. Their showmanship is intimidating. The rivalry builds as they compete in traditional Kazakh sports. <laughs> Then, it's time for the Eagles. This competition will be judged on the Eagles' speed and accuracy, from launch to lure. Pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, that Eagle was looking great. And it was maybe within five meters of the, the drag, and the gust caught it, and it was like, like that. It was 200 meters up in the air. As more eagles take their turn, it seems these windy conditions are tough, even for the best hunters. <laughs> Any eagle that touches the crowd, the hair that's after is going to be long gone, so it has to land directly on the drag. There are eight people competing today, and my turn is fast approaching. I get the impression that everybody's looking at me just thinking I'm sort of some tourist playing at this, but um, this is deadly serious for me. I want to kind of show all these men that I know what I'm doing. It's the big moment. We'll score well if she flies fast and straight to the lure. I've got to time removing the hood and releasing the jesses just right to allow for wind gusts and the movement of the lure. At last, a perfect launch. Everything has finally come together, and I've proved to Silo that my ego and I can do this.
Now the competition is over, Salau tells me that tomorrow he will release his eight-year-old ego back to the wild. After working with her for so long, it'll be like losing a member of his family. As my final day arrives, we're all feeling anxious about what lies ahead. I've only been in here for a short time, but I feel an ease and closeness between us all. Cool. This is an incredibly difficult day for Silo. It's a unique relationship that the hunters have with these animals. Only they catch, hunt with, and then release the predator back to the wild. He's chosen a special place to let her go. Near to good hunting grounds and the nest where he found her as a chick. This eagle has been a big part of Silo's life. She's not only been his hunting partner, but also his companion for nearly a decade. Removing these leather dresses after so long is to physically as well as emotionally give her her freedom. It must be difficult. Despite the fact this eagle has been brought up with people, she's been hunting regularly, so still has her killer instincts and skills. Golden Eagles can live for over 20 years. With so much of her life ahead of her, I hope she'll go on to raise many chicks.